Hello and welcome. Today we will be talking about Node.js and Express. Uh, we will try to create a server of our own uh, using Express, uh, which is a framework uh, created for uh, web development. Our server will run locally on our machine and we will try to create a GET request. Uh, so let's get started. In order to uh, use Express, we'll have to uh, run in terminal npm install Express. And after we run that, we will see that several files will appear, such as node modules and package.json. And here you can see that our dependency was added for uh, Node.js, for uh, Express. Uh, now, in order to create our server, we need some prerequisites. So we will need to declare the, this variable Express, which will require the newly imported uh, express um, express dependency so you'll go ahead and do this uh, then another variable which will be a direct reference to express and of course a port uh, this is a port that we choose in order to run our um, server locally uh, now that we do, we did that, we can go ahead and uh, customize our server. So we will try to create, as I said, a get a request. In order to do that, we can use the method get. get. Uh, and first of all, we will try to make a default uh, uh, method, let's say. Uh, so when you will try to access localhost 3000, uh, you will get a um, basic response each and every time. And in order to do that, uh, this, the way it works, it's we will need to use this arrow key function with request and response. Uh, this is the standard um, the syntax for it. And on the response side, we will try to send a reply. Welcome to my API. So every time we try to access localhost 3000, this is what our slash here uh, stands for, uh, we will get this response um, in, in, instead. So uh, one last thing before running our server, we will have to do an app.listen. And this is the part that uh, we will need uh, in order to um, have our server up and running. And not only that, we can go ahead and uh, mention something else. For example, we can do a console.log uh, in order to uh, check in our console that our uh, server uh, started running and maybe the port. So we will say running on port and the port number that we chosen uh, above. So now we have everything that we need in order to start a local server. We can now run our server and see if it's working. So we will do a node app.js in our console. And as you can see, the server started running. Uh, we mentioned it above. Uh, so let's open a browser and go to localhost 3000 and see what's happening. So as you can see, the default location for our server is localhost 3000. And because of the configuration we created here, every time we access this uh, uh, default location, we will have this message. Of course, it could have been something else. Now let's get uh, let's go a step further and uh, create another um, uh, another get request. Uh, and this time we will try to get something else uh, in our response. We will try to get a list of books. In order to do that, I already created a, a class called book it has a, a couple of um, details such as id name genre author and uh, uh, here um, i will try to mimic um, a way to save the data a, a persistence layer if you want uh, via using uh, an array uh, so i just created um, uh, an array of books and i will try to um, display uh, those books when uh, I uh, uh, access a certain link from our server. So uh, the link, the custom link will be uh, slash books. So basically when we go, go to localhost 3000 slash books, uh, we will try to uh, receive back a list of books. And again, the same structure, request response, arrow key function, and inside of it, we will try to um, uh, to respond with the list of books. 
So uh, the easy way around it is on the response we can uh, do not a send this time, we'll try to do a JSON. Why JSON? It's because of the format that the data will be displayed as. So you don't want to display it as text, we want to display it as a JSON, uh, in JSON format because it's uh, uh, the most common way to consume APIs uh, around the internet. Uh, so we basically uh, we will add books to this. Uh, so uh, now when we save and uh, reload, we will be able to uh, to see the list of books. So if you try to run it, well, this time it will give us an error because it doesn't see book as defined. So we'll have to add this uh, a link towards the page where we uh, towards the file that we created where we created the the class. Now that we run again, it's, you can see that it says that it's running on port three thousand. So when we go to our browser <clears throat> and check the, the link we just created, so we created the get request uh, with the, the custom link slash books. So we go uh, on our browser and we check this link. We will see that we have our list of books. Now let's go one step further and assume that we don't want to see all the results. Here we have only three results, but we could have a lot more. So maybe we want to check just a small part of our results. We can filter them somehow. So in order to do that, we will do something that is called request query. Uh, so inside the queries, we will see some parameters that we can take into account and play with them. So let's uh, let's uh, uh, configure this uh, method in order to uh, take into account those um, uh, parameters. So let's first start by creating um, an empty array with books and then we will check if we have a custom uh, query parameter in our link request.query and let's be more uh, more exact we will try to find something like a genre so we will try to return a filter for genre uh, let's say we want to see only the sci-fi uh, books that we have so then we will search for this exact parameter if uh, if we have one then uh, our filtered books array will equal with books dot filter so we'll try to filter the uh, array that we have at the beginning with all the results and inside of it we will take each uh, each book and check if the uh, genre it's is the proper one is the one that we have also in, uh, in uh, as a parameter coming from the browser. If that's the case, then filter books will uh, get all the answers. Uh, if not, then we will have this filtered book array that will be um, equal with the initial list. Uh, and of course, when we return the result, it will be filter books, and it will be based on the uh, code that we wrote here. So in order to see what we've did so far, we will have to go back to our browser and check. So getting back to our browser on the link we already created, uh, we can add a query parameter. And the, order to, the way to do this to add a parameter inside our URL is to add the question mark and then the name of the parameter and then the value for the parameter. And when this request will get to our um, uh, custom uh, uh, URL, uh, our custom method, uh, it will get this parameter and we will be able to uh, get to it uh, using uh, rec.query.genre. Okay, so let's enter it and voila. We can now see that uh, from our list, we uh, got back only the ones that are uh, science fiction uh, type of books. Thank you.